Hello and welcome to the Comlex Instant Podcast. Let's talk about some infectious diseases. For example, the abdominal infections, which include infection of the small bowel, typically will present with signs of malabsorption and steatorrhea. If it's large bowel, you'll have bloody diarrhea or non-bloody diarrhea as the most common finding. I want to talk about shigella or shigellosis. You make the diagnosis basically by stool culture and the treatment is with oral antibiotics. Also intravenous fluids are helpful to prevent dehydration. The key here to make the diagnosis on clinical presentation is bloody diarrhea. That's a key finding of shigellosis. And what about enteamoeba histolytica? This will also present with bloody diarrhea. However, in the history, you'll see a travel history to a tropical area and that should be a key finding and the identification is made through getting a stool examination by microscopy which will show you the parasite treatment is with metronidazole and that's the key findings that you'll see in enteramoeba histolytica also called amoebic dysentery now what about enterohemorrhagic e coli e coli 87 and hus well, it's produced by the toxin called Shiga toxin, and it's transmitted mainly via undercooked meat products. It can lead to HUS, hemolytic uremic syndrome, where patients have microangiopathic hemolytic anemia, thrombocytopenia, and renal failure. So those three findings are going to um, tell you that it's HUS, thrombocytopenia, renal failure, and microangiopathic hemolytic anemia. What do you see on clinical exam? Well, you see symptoms of anemia, bleeding, renal failure. And in contrast to TTP, however, there are no neurological symptoms. And that's a big finding because if a patient comes into you with similar symptoms and they don't have neurological findings, you're going to pick enterohemorrhagic E. coli. So no CNS or neurological symptoms. The diagnosis is basically uh, through the laboratory findings of the thrombocytopenia and red blood cell fragmentation on examination of the peripheral blood smear. Coombs test is negative and the other laboratory findings can include an elevated LDH and fibrin products. So those are some of the key findings you should look out for on the board exam. Treatment is self-limited and sometimes uh, treatment in adults is plasmapheresis with fresh flows in plasma as is the case with TTP. What about cytomegalovirus? The diagnosis here is made by biopsy, okay, and the treatment is gangcyclovir. What do you look for in the clinical presentation? Well, GI bleeding, okay, which can eventually turn into chronic watery diarrhea, weight loss, the extra intestinal manifestation of retinitis is a key finding, and obviously some sort of an immunocompromised state like HIV AIDS or chemotherapy that the patient is going through. Now, those were a review of some of the bloody diarrhea, and please visit comlexflashcards.com for additional lectures on non-bloody diarrhea as well as um, large intestinal diarrhea. Good luck in your preparation, and please visit comlexflashcards.com.